working on our high tensile fence, we're on the corners. What we're going to show you is the bracing of these two posts in the corner. And how we do it, there's probably a lot of ways to do it, but uh, we'll, we'll show you each step. First thing we're going to do is measure the distance between this pole, and then we're going to cut one of these to the length, and we're going to set it in right here. Now we got the we got the post cut like we want them. Now we're gonna level them, and then we're gonna drill uh, drill and put pins in the uh, pins that we're using are three eight rebar, and I just cut them to the length of pins. Well, that I already bought from Tractor Supply. Uh, they they were out of them. That's the reason why I started using these. I, they just never ordered them, so. I started uh, making my own. Uh, it's cheap. I get uh, probably 20 feet of a rebar for, I don't know, uh, a dollar a foot. So I, I can make quite a few of these with a foot. And these things were costing me at least, you know, sometimes a dollar a piece. It's the diameter. So the it's three-eighths of an inch is what this is. And I just get a three-eighths drill bit. And I just run the drill bit in until it's real smooth and drive them in with a hammer. The short one goes on the corner post and there'll be two one coming off each side for those posts and the long one is going to go through the post on the outside and there'll be just a little bit left on the outside to hook wire onto and then I'm going to cut my chainsaw I'm going to use my chainsaw and I'm going to cut uh, grooves down and up on each side and that's where I'm going to do my wire wrapping to bring it all together and I'm using just high tensile wire. All right, we're, we're just leveling this post somewhere up near the top. That's all we're doing. We're going to mark it so I know where to put my drill bit when I go into the corner post and the outside post. This is going to be my twitching stick. I'm going to run wire from here to up to here. And then here, up to there, I'm going to start with this side first, then I'm going to spin that wire and leave it just sitting right here on this post. That wire's going to run on the inside, and that'll, that'll shore up these, these posts with the, with the two pins in it. It's already much better, but that's going to make it extra strong. Now, to do this, all I do is take me one, one good measurement like this. Once I get it from stretch like that, I, I just do five more of them for a total of six, and that gets me around the three times that I want to get around.
down here and you can see my cut and I got my line here it's in the line real good on the other side not so good but that just helps to keep it uh, from sliding up and down that pole because that's the tendency Here it is, we've got our wire in, we used our two twitching sticks, we got them on the outside because our electric wire is going to come through here and we're going to use like an acrylic disc, they have porcelain ones, we're going to use like acrylic. And so you can already tell how, I mean it's really, this one probably could come around one more time, but it, it's just starting, to, this side especially, firm up and we'll come back, you can see it where it's drawing up right here. And uh, It'll, it'll settle in and so we're ready on this corner to, to do it. I got my lines on my chainsaw off just a little bit. You don't have to do that. You can do it with uh, just cable nails but uh, I really like to put the lines here and here and I just angle that saw blade the, where I'm going. A lot of people don't like to work with chainsaws. I don't mind in that regard and that's just a high tensile wire with some Really scrap wood that we had one by one by one. Thanks for watching.